Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's me coming at you with that. 2020 Panini Prism Football No Huddle Edition 2 Box Random Team Break Number 4. One spot gets you two teams in this. No Vet Commons chips. Some pretty nice stuff in here. Big thanks to these folks here. One spot gets you two. Let's double you up. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. All 32 teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize names and teams four and a one five times each. One, two, three, four, and a one five times. We've got Jonathan down to Jonathan. And then four and a one five times for the teams. One, two, three, four. Four and a one, fifth and final time. Falcons down to the Eagles. Bird teams on the top and bottom. All right, so Jonathan with the Falcons, Chris with the Broncos, Jonathan with the Lions, Packers, Cardinals, uh, WFT, and the Chargers. Kurt with the Titans, Jonathan with the Browns, Buccaneers, and Saints and Bills. Jeff with the Ravens, Jonathan with the Chiefs, Chris with the Jags, Jonathan with the Pats and the Colts, uh, Giants and Rams for Chris, Jonathan with the Seahawks, Jeff with the Panthers, Jay with the Jets, Chris with the Bears, Jonathan with the Vikings and the Cowboys, Chris with the Dolphins, Kurt with the Texans, Chris with the Raiders, Steelers for Jonathan, Bengals for Chris, Jay with the Niners, and Jonathan with the Eagles. Ooh, what a shot. Pelicans Suns on TNT. A good matchup of some young players out there. Sort by column B. All right. Any? Uh, let me know if there, I'm going to pause the video when we come back. We're going to see if there's any trades, and uh, and then the break. Stick around. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, folks. There were no deals done, so that list you saw remains the same right here. So two box no huddle number four. Thanks everyone for getting in. Appreciate it. And I just grabbed two random boxes from the back. I think Sean opened up a fresh case not too long ago and marked those with X's so we know, all know it's from the same case. Although I don't think there's any cases or anything like that. So. Oliver wants to talk a little uh, baseball socks, Dodgers and White Sox World Series. That'd be nice. I'd, I'd love to see that. Yeah, I, I would imagine that the Dodgers will do what they need to do to get go deep into the playoffs again. Probably, maybe the World Series? I don't know. Could, could you get to a World Series like a zillion times in a row? There's got to be one flat year, right? I think Major League Baseball definitely wants to see, wa wants to see at least the Dodgers-Yankees World Series for the ratings. You know what I mean? Fox would make so much money on that game, on that World Series. But White Sox, that'd be fun. That'd be fun to see some of that young talent get showcased in a World Series. I guess Dodgers probably wouldn't tend not to. They tend to be pretty slow on making moves. I think they'll probably. What do you What do you think they, Oliver? What do they do with Justin Turner? Do you re-sign him? I heard those Arenado rumors. Not. I don't know if. I don't know if the Rockies are going to be trading Arenado to a. To a contender, though. There's Clavon Chasen autograph. That no huddle parallel. That'll be for Chris and the Jags. Jacob Eason, rookie.
And Robert Woods to 50. Jarvis Landry to 79. Oliver's thinking no DH, Justin Turner goes. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like the sound of that, but I hope maybe Justin Turner stays for a little less. But I don't think he, I don't think he will. Pittman Jr. for the Colts. That's going to be for Jonathan. Dwayne Haskins just got released. This one still goes to the Washington football team. That goes to Jonathan. I was a little surprised. I didn't think they'd do anything like that until, until after the season. j Dog, what's up? Rodgers or Mahomes for MVP? What about Josh Allen? What about neither? There's Bridgewater at 79. There's Mahomes right there. There's Marlon Mack. To 35. I mean, it's 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 writers voting for it's sports writers, Associated Press votes for uh, MVP, right? AP MVP, I think, is the one that everyone considers like the main one. Is that the only one? What about the Sporting News Player of the Year? Is that gone? There's Marlon Davidson to 79. But I don't know. Do, do the writers, if it's writers that are voting, do they like that? Who votes for the MVP? Actually, that, I feel like I don't know that. But if it is sports writers, then why not? They might, they might like the Josh Allen narrative. I don't think Andy Dalton's going to win the MVP. Jeremy Port. Oh, Arthur. That's spicy. Super Bowl MVP, he says. Can you imagine? Super Bowl MVP. Arthur, what happens? Okay, just for fun, Arthur, what happens to Dak Prescott if Andy Dalton wins the Super, wins the Super Bowl and Super Bowl MVP? What happens? Do they? That's what I was thinking, Joe Christian. Then does Jerry Jones not pay Dak Prescott? If he's like, hey, if we can do it with Andy Dalton. Or does he double down on Dak Prescott saying, if we could do it with Andy Dalton, then we're definitely winning another one with Dak, with a healthy Dak Prescott. I'd, I'd love to see that. Well, you have to bring back. I think so, actually. Now, I changed my mind. I think he would actually have to bring back Dak Prescott and say, if we won with, if we won with uh, Andy Dalton, we're definitely winning a second or third with Dak. Steve's saying that's dumb. He's saying, duh, it's going to be Mitch Trubisky getting Super Bowl. What do you do with Mitch Trubisky? Do you actually re-sign Mitch? That would be the worst thing to happen to the Chicago Bears, I think, long term. That'd be the worst thing. Remember Blake Bortles? He had that one great run in the playoffs, which kind of made the Jaguars, they almost forced the Jaguars to pay him some money, and then he was terrible the next year. I think that might be a, I mean, short term, if the Bears win the Super Bowl short term, that's awesome. Long term, they're probably going to put like, they're probably going to put like, I don't know, give him another five or six year contract and be stuck with Trubisky.
And we got, nice, the speedster, Henry Ruggs. That'll be for my Raiders, Chris Gerard with Las Vegas. Ooh, and a Justin Herbert. Nice. Chargers, Jonathan Peets. There you go, Jonathan. Well, yeah, Nagy definitely has to go in the offseason. No. Well, what happens when you what happens if the Bears win the Super Bowl? Do you keep do you keep do you keep Nagy? Twelve out of fifteen. Mike Williams pink going to the Chargers, Jonathan. Oh that That could be that could be a curse on top of the blessing. There's Tua, Tungo Bailoa going to Chris. Thanks, Alex. There's Matt Ryan, forty three out of fifty. Next little stack here. We got a Michael P. Ryan, 79 for the Jets. That'll be for Jay, Chase Claypool, Steelers, Jonathan, LaVisca Chenault Jr., Henry Ruggs again for the Raiders, Chris, T. Higgins, Bengals, Chris. There's Odell Beckham Jr. to 35 for the Browns. That'll be for Jonathan. We've got Eno Benjamin for the Cardinals, Jonathan. Darren Fells to 79. Derek Henry, Isaiah Coulter, Jerry Judy for Denver. That'll be for Chris. And the last ones here. Nice Jalen Hurts. And there's Zach Moss right there for the Bills, Jonathan Peets. And a Jalen Hurts red going out to Jonathan as well. And the Fly Eagles fly. And that's that, folks. I'll sleeve up all these rookies right here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. That was Two Box No Huddle, Random Team 4 of 2020 Panini Prism Football. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.